Right now, the governor is revising what stays, what goes, and where your tax dollars will be spent for the next year. In less than a week, he will hand the budget off to the assembly for review. 10 News reporter Liz Alon explains how taxpayers in San Diego got to experience the daunting task that lies ahead for California lawmakers. The library at San Diego High School was transformed into the state capitol with San Diegans as the assembly trying to balance a budget with a $22 billion deficit, keeping everyone's interests in mind. Nearly 200 people at the library. This little clicker took them through the budget process. Number one is no change, so uh, fees will increase about 10 percent. The second one is uh, no fee increases for five years. With a panel of state representatives guiding them, citizens decided what was important and what could be cut. The uh, answer here would be uh, 31 percent wants to keep fees flat, and that will uh, add about 1.4 billion to the deficit. California is the only state that needs a two-thirds majority to pass a budget or raise taxes. For the first time, these taxpayers realize just how difficult that is, living in a state that is facing one of the worst economic downturns in its history. The debate got heated over heavy taxes on corporations that get pushed out of the state. And perhaps especially Intel, the big chip maker, began here in California and closed out its last factory here a long time ago because of that. The question here is, uh, should California scale back or expand health care coverage provided through the Medi-Cal program? The citizens were furious when the decision came to cut deeper into services like in-home care. If anything, this program should be increased. We're talking about in-home supportive services. Dignity and respect in the privacy of their own home. I'll be 93, and they can't cut my hair. She the one that takes care of me. It's complex, and that every decision that we make has consequences um, that may not be readily apparent. Okay, uh, no change. That's the first time I think we've uh, approached the 50% uh, majority. Well, do you want to cut over here, or do you want to cut over here? And either one is, is a bad choice. Uh, so that's, that's really an eye-opener. The taxpayers in this room actually came up with a $7.8 million surplus. As for the real budget, the next step will happen on May 14th. That's when the governor is expected to hand it to the Assembly. Reporting in downtown.